Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can both record and then also share that recording with others in Microsoft Teams. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. Why would you wanna record a meeting in Microsoft Teams? Well, let's say you work at an office and maybe some critical attendees are unable to make the meeting. You could provide them with a recording after the fact. Or maybe you're a teacher and one of your students is absent and you want them to be able to catch up on your lecture. Once again, you could share a recording with them and then they could catch up uh, on it. Whatever your reason, Microsoft Teams makes it very easy to record your meetings and then also share those meetings with others. And today I'll show you step-by-step -step how you can do that. Sound good? Well, why don't we jump on the PC and jump right into it? Here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft Teams open and I have already joined a meeting. Here you see me, I'm one of the organizers of this meeting and I also have Emily co-presenting with me. And then we have an attendee who joined the meeting, Adele. One thing is we sent this meeting out and we were expecting a lot more people to join and it turns out these other people are unable to join the meeting. So this is the perfect situation to record a meeting so they could catch up later. Now I mentioned that recording a meeting is very simple. All we have to do is we hover over the content here and we get the different controls related to the meeting. To record a meeting, we wanna click on the more actions menu, also the ellipses or the triple dot. That opens up a menu with a whole bunch of different controls and the one that should stand out is the one with a, a red circle that says start recording. If I click on this, this will commence a recording. One thing to note about being able to record, so presenters are the only ones who could record a meeting, attendees are unable to record. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up quickly Emily's view here, she's also one of the presenters. Here you see that she has the ability to record, but if I bring up Adele's view, right now I'm in Adele's view, if I click on the more actions menu, you'll see that Adele is unable to record. So once again, only the presenters can record. Now I'm gonna go back to Emily's view and she's gonna go ahead and kick off the recording. Now one thing I recommend doing is if you are going to record a meeting, let other people know that you're gonna be recording it uh, just to give them a heads up. Now once I start the recording, let's go ahead, let's click on the start recording button. You'll see that it now says you're recording. You're recording this meeting. Be sure to let everyone know. Now this is in Emily's view. If I jump back to Kevin's view here, you'll see that I get that same message across the top and then also if I jump into Adele's view, I also see the message. So let's say you don't proactively tell people in the meeting, they're also gonna see a message, but it's a good practice just to verbally uh, let others know that you're planning on recording. So back here within Emily's view, now that we're recording the meeting, we could go through, talk about different content and uh, have a good discussion. And once we're done with the recording, what I could do is I could either hang up, which will stop the recording, or I could click on, once again, the more actions menu, and I could click on stop recording. Once I stop the recording, I get a confirmation message asking me if I really wanna stop the recording, and yes, I do. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna click on stop recording. Now that the recording has finished, I see this information bar across the top and it confirms that the recording has stopped and then it lets me know where I can access that recording. So there are gonna be two different ways I could both access and then also share the recording with others. So by far the easiest place to get back to the recording of this meeting is to click on the conversation or the meeting chat view and then within here I can see the recording. Now I've done a recording a few times here and so for each recording that I've done, you'll see it posted here within the chat and what I could do is if I click on the ellipses up here or the more options I have a bunch of different options I could open it in Microsoft stream I could go ahead and I could share it directly from here I could get a link to the recording and I could share that via email uh, or any other way text message however I want to share that link I can do that uh, so let's say I wanted to share with others and what's interesting this is Emily's view if I go into Kevin's view and I click into the chat as well I also have access to the recording and now I'm going to jump into Adele's view and we're going to go to the conversation and Adele also has access to the recording so anyone who is part of the meeting has access to that recording now one of the uh, things I want to show is if you want to go to Microsoft Stream, this is where the recording is saved. And so if I jump into Microsoft Stream, here you'll see the recording. I could go ahead and play the recording. What's nice here is when I play the recording, you'll see that it takes the title of the meeting and it 
inserts it at the beginning of the recording. It also reminds me of when the meeting took place and then it says who recorded it and who organized the meeting. So it gives a nice metadata related to the meeting. And now I could go ahead and play it and there you'll see the meeting. So what it'll do is it records the slides, it records the video, it also records the audio. So everything related to the meeting will be captured. Every hour of recording uses up about 400 megabytes of space, but if you're in an organization, you typically don't have to worry about that if you're a meeting organizer or if you're a meeting attendee, that's something your admin will have to worry about. Uh, but this is also where you can access the recording. Now let's say that a few months have gone by and you no longer have easy access to the calendar item or the meeting chat, but you still want to get back to the meeting recording. How do you get back to your recording? Well, the easiest way to do it is if you go up here to the waffle and you can access this anywhere, whether you're in Outlook, in OneDrive, if you're in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, wherever you are in the Microsoft 365 ecosystem, you can access the waffle menu. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to click here on Office 365, and this opens up the office.com homepage. And what you could do is you'll see all your different app tiles at the top we want to navigate to stream. Now, if you don't see stream as part of this initial set here, what you can do is click on all apps and then you could also navigate to stream here. Once you've navigated to stream once, office.com will automatically include that app tile on the homepage. So I'm gonna click into stream and this will launch the Microsoft Stream homepage. Once again, this is where all of your meeting recordings are saved. And it looks like stream automatically highlights my meeting recording here. But one way I can get back to my content, if I go up here across the top, I have these different pivots. And if I click on the one that says my content and I go down to the option that says meetings, this is where all of my meeting recordings are saved. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's click on that, and here you see my meeting recording big important meeting and it shows up right here on my list. Now this will only show up for the person who initiated the recording. It won't show up for the other attendees. The only way the other attendees could get back is either by going to the meeting chat or if someone who is part of the meeting shares it with them via some other mechanism, say like email or a Teams channel. Uh, but so the person who kicks off the recording can get back to it here in stream. All right, well, that was a really quick example of how you can record your meetings in Microsoft Teams, and not only how you can record it, but how you could get back to your recording after the fact, and also how you could share the recording with others. Anyway, if you now know how to record meetings, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button, that way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below, I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, thanks for tuning in and hope to see you next time. Bye.